Gears Esports is one of my favorite esports to watch, guys. I absolutely love it. From the epic moments to the trash talk to uh, the different skins to the movements to just everything, guys. I mean, I absolutely love Gears Esports as a whole. From even a production perspective to the casters. I mean, it just incredible talent all the way across the board. And I've felt for so long that Gears Esports has been on the cusp. Just like the game, guys. It's been on the cusp of greatness. Like this could be like something that is absolutely massive, you know, probably not on the same level as say, you know, Call of Duty or, you know, CSGO or one of these, those titles, but definitely deserves to have more recognition and certainly a bigger following and fan base and, you know, more people that are viewing from a viewership perspective, watching, you know, other streamers, watching content on YouTube. I just believe that it's still on the cusp. And so with that, I want to talk in this segment of the show about Gears Esports. And a question that I definitely want to propose to all of you, and I want to hear you guys' thoughts in the comment section down below. I really want to get some engagement here because Gears Esports is, like I said, one of my favorite. I absolutely love it. I mean, when we talk about the big three guys, in my mind, the three greatest games ever made, I always say it's Call of Duty, Gears of War, and StarCraft. All three have incredible stories. They've got incredible multiplayer experiences. And, you know, from a, I mean, just from a viewership perspective, I love watching esports with all three of those games. Gears of War, and they're all unique in their own way. Gears of War is an incredible esport. And so, that being said, when the move was changed to go from execution over to escalation and you know obviously guys this this change did happen and it really was implemented i believe in gears of war 4 was when it started that we saw escalation i absolutely love escalation guys but what i will say about it is this that i think from new viewers coming in so like before we even go there kind of stepping back here we look at call of duty we look at Gears of War and we look at StarCraft. StarCraft is a global game, guys. Um, you know, it's getting viewership from across the world, essentially. Call of Duty, you could say it's primarily a North American game, kind of like Gears of War, but it's even spread all over the world as well. So with Call of Duty, they have multiple game modes that they have as far as from the CDL perspective, the Call of Duty League. They've got multiple game modes. Typically, it's like Hardpoint and Uplink, or it's, you know, Hardpoint Search and Destroy, and, you know, it's like a a few different game modes. And for Call of Duty, it works. Even though I believe Search and Destroy for Call of Duty would actually be really smart because it would be similar to like a CSGO. And, you know, I think that you would really, it'd be easy to play, but really hard to master. And I think that's what would make it really awesome from a competitive perspective. With Gears of War, they focus on Escalation, which is great. I love that they're focusing on one game mode. But to me, Execution is easy, a little bit easier for new viewers to follow than uh, than escalation. Escalation, guys, is great. I think it's awesome, and I think it's there's so many like just. Um, I think it's one of the best game modes that's been introduced into esports in, in quite some time. From at least for someone who's been in the Gears of War community for so long, I absolutely love it. But I'm just saying, from new viewers. From that perspective, execution makes sense because search and destroy, guys, it's pretty easy to understand. You got your power weapons on the map and you get one life per round. And so I just think like if they were to take execution and implement it now or into, you know, we could say that it gets implemented once again in gear six where they start that again, I think that would be better, guys, than Escalation. Even though I love Escalation, I think it's absolutely epic. I think there's moments that I actually think it's better than Execution from a, like a Die Hard Gears fan's perspective. I'm just saying, trying to bring in new people who are watching Escalation may be a little bit more confusing. And the thing with Execution, guys, is you can always change things slightly in that, you know, in the meta of of execution. For instance, you kill uh, someone and, you know, after they go down, 
um, their cog tags are dropped and, you know, your teammate can pick it up. And if they're able to strategize a way to, to be able to rescue you essentially, um, then you you come back or, you know, it could be a number of different ways that they could implement into execution to make it interesting, um, outside of just the plain old, uh, search and destroy kind of style. I think if you started that way though, it would more and more viewers would understand exactly what's going on. Now, this is just one man's thoughts, guys. I'm thinking about this more so for the future. Obviously, we have Escalation. It's been awesome, guys, and I think it's doing, you know, it's it's great for even Gears 5. I think it's, I think it's great, but I just believe that we need to see Execution come back in some capacity when we go into Gear 6. And that's just my thoughts and opinions, guys. I want to hear yours, though. I'd love to, you know, I think there's two sides to this, and I think that Escalation is... Like, I mean, it's one of the most underrated game modes in all of esports, in my opinion. I absolutely love it. It's incredible. And I think other esports, you know, uh, could definitely, if they used like the same kind of um, motto or the kind of the same structure as Escalation, I think it could be a very popular esport to watch. I think Call of Duty, it would be awesome to see that in Call of Duty. It'd be cool to see it in Halo. Um, would it work the same way? Well, you know, it's hard to say, but I just think that Escalation is an incredible game mode, one of the most underrated game modes in all of esports. But from a viewership perspective, execution is easier to watch, and it's not quite as you know complicated or you know um, it's it's not as difficult for new viewers. But that's just my thoughts, guys. Once again, I want to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below about this. Should execution come back as the main game mode in Gear Six? for obviously the Gears esports scene, or should they stick with Escalation? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And for more Gears esports content and videos, stay here with Zero TV.